One of the best ways to win the point in singles when your opponent comes to the net is to just simply hit the ball right to them. Let me show you what I mean. Now, first, this video is courtesy of Jay Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. All right, let's watch this point, and then we'll diagram it. Now, this is a high-level college point. You got the return to serve right down the middle. I am a huge fan of that. And right here, the player in red gets a short ball. And from here, he's going to drive this ball hard into the corner, and he's going to immediately attack, which is a smart play. You get your opponent in trouble, you attack. Now, in this situation, what you typically see recreational players try is a passing shot where they're trying to avoid the opponent. When your opponent is coming to the net, don't always feel like you have to avoid them. In fact, it's actually in your best interest just to involve them in the point, especially if your opponent is around the service line, which is typically where they are off an approach shot or when they get you in trouble and they start coming forward. There's so much room between themselves or between them and the net that it's actually quite easy with gravity and topspin to just hit the ball short and force them to hit a low ball. And that's exactly what the player in black does. He hits the ball low to the player coming forward. That forces the net player to now hit up off the racket. Now, you'll see the player in black. As soon as he hits this ball, he immediately starts running forward. Now, look how he's running forward because he's assuming that the net player is going to hit the ball short. So he is immediately running forward, which is important to note. So after you hit the ball to your opponent's feet, immediately start moving forward. So most likely when they hit that short ball, you can run it down. So because that ball takes forever to bounce twice, the net player is actually able to get to that ball and he can either hit the, the pass down the line, he can hit it cross court, or he can go for the lob. It's much easier to win the point on your second shot. This is called a two-shot passing shot strategy. And he actually ends up hitting the ball cross court and winning the point. I was actually surprised here that the net player didn't go forward and get this ball out of the air, but he decided to let it bounce, and he actually lost the point because of it. Now, if you love strategy as much as I do, then you need to pick up a copy of the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Over 50 pages, strategy after strategy to beat your toughest opponents. And each strategy is broken down by the type of opponent you play against. Because we play serve and volleyers and aggressive baseliners and all court players and pushers, and you wanna know what strategy to use and tailor your play against that particular opponent. And each page has a QR code. Take your mobile device, your iPad, your phone, put it up over the QR code, and up pops a video of Will Hamilton from Fuzzy Yellow Balls showing you exactly how to use that strategy. To get a copy of the singles playbook, simply use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against and practice with, maybe you are kind of used to the same people you keep playing over and over again and you want to find new competition, then use my link for Player Court. And it's playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Look, when your opponent comes to the net on you, you don't need to avoid them. If you accidentally hit short and your opponent attacks or your opponent just crushes a ball to a corner and gets you in some trouble and they start attacking and coming forward, you don't need to avoid them. In fact, I would argue you need to involve them in the point to uh, increase the likelihood that you win. So make your ball land around the service line because I've made videos in the past suggesting that you aim for people's feet. And people in the comment section say, Ryan, how do I aim for their feet? What do you mean I aim for their feet? The goal is to aim for the service line. Try to hit your ball so that it lands on the service line. Maybe take a little pace off the ball. Maybe put some spin on the ball to bring that ball down by the service line. Now what you've done is you've given them a low ball. Half the time they're gonna screw that up. The other time they're gonna pop it up. So as soon as you hit to their feet, you wanna start moving forward so that when they pop it up, you can come in, you can either pass them down the line, pass them cross court, whatever you want. It's called the two shot passing shot strategy. Hit to their feet first, then when they pop it up and hit that weak ball, now you're in position to go for the pass. You use this strategy and there is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.